Grand Reserva Tempranillo under $13. Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Dime. I'm very excited because I was at my local grocery store, H-E-B, and I found this Pata Negra Gran Reserva, 100% Tempranillo from Spain for under $13. So I bought it and I ran home-ish. I drove and then I ran for my car. Then I grabbed my camera and then I ran back inside to do the intro. But, but yeah, but so I was very excited about this. All right, so let's take a look at this. This is the Pata Negra. It's from Valdepenas, Spain. It's 100% Tempranillo. It's a 2009 13% alcohol by volume and I paid $12 for it at my local grocery store, H-E-B. So now screw top, put a Halo's Corker in it on the run up with my magical third arm. So anyway, don't worry about it. Power of editing. Let's take a look at it. All right. So from a color perspective, this is this is a medium garnet. Yes, there's some orange in there. There's a me this is medium garnet. Not really seeing brown though. Uh, no, no cloudiness, no artifacts, and yeah, it's medium. It's definitely medium. All right, from a nose standpoint. Oh my gosh, this is exactly what I was hoping for. It's not as super complicated as something like from Rioja, but this has a lot to it. So first thing I'm getting is black cherry and leather. Black cherry, leather, hint of raspberry, a little bit of coffee, a touch of, touch, slightest touch of cinnamon. Yeah, so if, I mean, just based upon that, I'd probably guess that this was done in slightly charred French oak. I'm, I'm quite excited about this. I'm quite excited about this. Let's get to the taste. Medium body. Woo! High acid. High acid. One second. Right, I'm good. Like I said, high acid, medium body, medium finish. I wish it would go a little bit longer. First thing I noticed is it's a sour black cherry. I like it. I'm saying medium tannins and I really like, there's like this, um, it is a leather. It, but it's like almost like a, a shoe leather type of aroma, not like a belt or wallet. It's like, it's very like kind of worked. Like you get a little bit of earthiness in with it. I like it a lot. The thing that is disappointing to me though, is I'm not getting much of the cinnamon. Yeah, not getting much of the cinnamon. Wish I would get more of that. However though, this is quite a nice wine and I feel like it's balanced. Um, a little bit of length. There's, I'd give it about midway on intensity. It needs a little bit more of that, especially with some of those red fruit. I would really like to see that earth come out more in the finish because that leather is kind of consistent, especially in the mid palate. Yeah, so I'm saying balance is pretty good. Length, medium. Um, intensity, medium. Complexity, medium. Uh, so, I mean, quite honestly, I'm gonna give this a very good. I'm gonna round up a little bit on it. I like it, I like it a lot. And for $12, if you have not had a Gran Reserva Tempranillo, this is a great way to start. Now, it's not from Rioja. If you want a really good Gran Reserva, you wanna go get one from Rioja. However, you might not be able to find it for the $12 mark. So if you're just getting into Spanish wine and you wanna know what a good starting point is for a nice complex wine that for $12, uh, the Pata Negra is gonna be a pretty good choice. Well done, y'all. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's video, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you tried the Pata Negra? I'd be interested to know if you have. Leave a comment below and I'll see you guys again soon with another episode from Wine on the Dime. In the meantime, um, I'm gonna go downstairs and study this wine a little bit more. I'll see you guys later. Hey everybody, thanks for sticking around to the video. I hope you liked it today. Subscribing always helps. Watching this video YouTube says you'll like is also good, but also 
If you really have had this wine, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you.